Welcome back, Noel. It looks like the lake effect snow is really setting up in a similar place. Similar place, Ben. We talk about these northwest wind belts. Well, the northwest wind brings a long fetch from Lake Superior, goes through a long distance across the big lake, and then as soon as it hits land, it piles up and comes as some heavy batch batches of snow. East of Munising, at this hour, to your interactive radar, just stop in the loop there and show you these bands that stretch from northwest through south east getting into M28 along that Alger County Schoolcraft line and then as you head towards the Sini stretch you'll run into another batch of this heavy snow towards Whitefish Point and Tequamanon Falls. A live look at the M94 Alger Schoolcraft County line Shingleton snow coated roads there visibility okay at the moment we'll take you to our train on the M28 you see the white caps these angry winter waves across Lake Superior along our train beach and the snow for the most part is light but the the wind that will have that drift around. You could be dealing with some areas of low visibility along this M28 corridor. 15 degrees currently in our train. A northwest wind at 17 miles per hour. Sustained gusting higher than that and pressure is high above 30 inches on the barometer. Snowfall reports again this is from earlier this morning so updates will come as they're available. Five and a half inches of snowfall. The highest reports around the Herman area, Berrigan County and Forest Lake, Alger County. Peak wind gusts. Look at the 68 mile per hour wind gusts over Minneapolis Shoal. You would think Lake Superior. This is actually over the Bay of Green Bay. Lake Michigan where we got the highest report from this morning. 68 miles per hour around the Bay of Green Bay as mentioned. National Weather Service weather alerts. The winter storm warning. The alerts really focus towards the eastern half of Upper Michigan with that Chippewa County winter storm warning going on until Thursday afternoon. The advisories for Alger, Luce, Mackinac, Schoolcraft County through Thursday night. Thursday night at the latest for Mackinac County. It'll be earlier for the other counties west. Lakeshore flood advisory as well for Alger and Luce County. We showed you the all train live camera. Those high wave action. High wave action across Lake Superior at this hour. Travel impeded, impacted mainly towards eastern upper Michigan. There's going to be some snow showers across the Lake Superior shore, even over west and central, but over the eastern UP, moderate to heavy snow and whiteouts possible and power outages as well. Chippewa County over 100 customers out of power at this hour. Tree damage can't be ruled out and again we mentioned the lakeshore flooding along Lake Superior. So moderate to heavy snow tonight over the eastern UP east of Marquette towards Munising. We get towards the late evening hours. Lake effect snow ramps up again for areas of the Copper Country. It'll be light occasional moderate moderate over high terrain like the Huron Mountains into Barriga and western Marquette County. It becomes more flurries over the western UP into the morning still moderate to heavy as we head towards Grand Marais and Whitefish Point and Sioux St. Marie. We get into Thursday early afternoon. Sunny breaks for areas west and central. Winds are also subsiding and so is the snow over the east. Looking to lift into Thursday night. We get a nice twilight at the very least throughout Upper Michigan into Thursday. So that's what we're looking at in terms of the snow chances. Moderate to heavy, six inches or more, even towards a foot into the Sioux. For three inches or more across areas of the western central UP, that's going to be for high terrain, and that's going to be for Thursday morning. TV6 extended forecast. Winter will lose its grip as we head into Friday. That's the 1st of March. Sunshine and some warmth with 50s over the west and then becoming more widespread into Sunday and then some spring showers for the weekend and early next week. Ben, what a turn of events to come. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Noel. Kevin?